morning students this is mc sir today we have to discussing about uh, one new concept this new concept is projectile motion okay so already we discussed that uh, point is motion under gravity in motion under gravity one small logical point we can identify your body projected in vertically upward direction this body is following the path is straight line path just observe here this body will reach us to maximum height we have to find out that maximum height h max and time taken by the body to reach maximum height so this two points are very important points in motion under gravity and whenever this body will reach us to maximum height what is the final velocity of your body what is the initial velocity of your body initial projection velocity is u then it reaches to maximum height its final velocity v equal to 0 here maximum height h max h max equal to u square divided by 2g here time of ascent t equal to u by g already we discussed these two points in a uh, previous classes but these points related to projectile motion this projectile is vertical projectile one dimensional projectile what is the meaning of projectile if any body is freely moving under the gravitational field it is called as a projectile but how many types of projectiles are there there are two types of projectile one is vertical projectile another one is oblique projectile so now we have to discussing about that oblique projectile. Now just observe here this body projected certain angle with respect to x axis. Now consider two axes. One is x axis, another one is y axis. Now just observe here initial projection velocity u. Here initial projection angle theta initial projection angle theta with respect to x axis here reference is horizontal x axis now we have to resolve this initial projection velocity into two components one component horizontal component another component is vertical component so already we discussed this point in resolution of vector so horizontal component is ux vertical component is uy ux equal to u cos theta <coughs> vertical component uy equal to u sin theta okay just after this point now here body following the path is trajectory path what is the reason it can follow that path is trajectory path what is the reason along the horizontal direction gravitational force does not act but in vertical direction gravitational force is acting due to the effect of gravitational force body can follow the path is trajectory path it reaches to maximum height just identify it reaches to maximum height at this observation point we can identify horizontal component ux is constant only u cos theta okay vertical component here vy equal to 0 vertical component vy equal to 0 what is the reason due to the gravitational effect of force that body reaches to maximum height and its final velocity equal to zero. Same as it is, we have to compare these two conditions. Here also body projected in vertically upward direction. It reaches to maximum height, its final velocity v equal to zero. And here also we can consider that body is projected at an angle with respect to x axis, then it reaches to maximum height to final velocity means which final velocity in vertical component. Vertical component of velocity equal to zero, but horizontal component of velocity does not equal to zero. Its value is constant. What is the reason? Means there is no gravitational force is acting on that. 
Okay, so just identify that small logical point. Ux is always constant u cos theta. So here, so we can identify that. Uh, so u y means v y we have to consider symbols. We have to change v here. V x equal to u cos theta. V y value we can represent to u sin theta. Okay, so like that we have to resolve that uh, vector into two components. Uh, next, you can find out that maximum height, h max. Okay, h max. And next one you have to find out that uh, time of flight, uh, total time taken by the body in gravitational field, you can find out. Okay, so just observe here time of flight, t question. And horizontal range, Horizontal range or question mark. Or question mark, but we have to find out. Next word, we have to consider one small observation point. So this observation point is P, P of x comma y. P of x comma y, we can find out that. Uh, so horizontal displacement at the same time, we can find out that vertical displacement also. Okay, x you can calculate and y value you have to calculate. Okay, so from this uh, given diagram, you can find out that uh, maximum height and time of flight next to range, horizontal range. At the same time, you have to find out that uh, horizontal displacement and vertical displacement. Okay, maximum height, h max. H max. So, along the horizontal direction, vertical direction, we can consider maximum height. At maximum height, we can just identify that condition. H max. H max, so we have to find out means. So, what is the formula of our maximum height? U square divided by 2G. In which direction we have to calculate this maximum height? In vertical direction. We don't consider that horizontal direction. Okay, we have to find out that vertic, uh, maximum height in vertical direction. H max equal to UY square divided by 2G. But u y value equal to how much? u sin theta. u sin theta whole square divided by 2g. So here h max equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g. Okay, so it is the one formula in oblique projectile motion. Okay, maximum height we want to calculate, we can use this formula. The same time we have to find out that time of flight. Total time taken by the body in a in, the, uh, in gravitational field, we have to find out T is equal to what is the time of flight in this condition? U by G. U by G, we have to write this one to it is uh, time taken by the body to reach maximum height. Time of flight means 2U by G. Means you can represent vertical component velocity and another one numerical value to two times of vertical component of velocity divided by g acceleration due to gravity but uh, ui value ui equal to 2 into ui u sin theta divided by g okay t equal to u sin theta divided by g so this formula represented time of flight Next one, horizontal range we want to calculate. Horizontal range means what is the initial point? Initial projection point is what? Final observation point we can consider here. Horizontal displacement. Total horizontal displacement is nothing but a range. So range is denoted by the letter R. You have to find out that R value. So just following this condition, horizontal displacement. Distance here horizontal displacement r is equal to ux into time of flight. ux into time of flight. So ux value represented u sin theta. Sorry, u cos theta. Time of flight. T represents total time taken by the body from initial point to final point. Okay, so what is the total time of flight? T equal to u sin theta divided by g. So right here to u sin theta divided by g. So simplify u into u u square u square 2 sin theta cos theta 
divided by g. So here u square sine 2 theta divided by g. So it represents horizontal range of oblique projectile. So r is equal to u square sine square sorry sine 2 theta divided by g. Okay, generally we can find out this uh, formulas with the help of this uh, diagram. But in vector notations, we have to find, uh, we have to resolve these horizontal components and vertical components in uh, another way. So first we can consider that for easy understanding, x-axis, along x-axis, along y-axis, Along x-axis, along y-axis, we have to find out. Along x-axis, so what is the horizontal component of initial projection velocity? Initial projection velocity ux. What is the acceleration? What is the acceleration value? What is the horizontal displacement at a particular time? What is the time taken by the body to reach as point B, T? We yeah, have just identified time taken by the body to reach that observation point P in a trajectory path. Okay, here time T, P of x comma y, x represent x coordinate, y represent y coordinate, x represent horizontal displacement. Here x, x question mark, ux, ux value equal to how much means u cos theta, it is constant. It is constant. Ax, what is that definition of acceleration? The rate of change of velocity is called as acceleration. So right here, d by dt of constant. Means ux. Here ux. So d by dt of constant value equal to 0. Along the horizontal direction, acceleration equal to 0. What is the reason? Means here, horizontal component of velocity is constant. Next, we have to find out that uh, horizontal displacement x. So, x we have to consider that displacement equal to velocity into time in which direction we have to calculate the displacement horizontal di direction. Because of that reason, we can consider ux into time. uxt. ux equal to how much means u cos theta into time. x equal to u cos theta t. It is one condition. You have to find out that t value. So t equal to x by u cos theta. It is one condition. And next to n, along y axis direction, we have to find out that ux, a, uh, sorry, ui, ay, and uh, y value. Means uh, ui means vertical component of velocity. Next to n, ay. Next to n, vertical displacement. Here ui value first we have to find out ui value equal to u sin theta. So u sin theta we have to represent. Next ay value. In vertical direction acceleration is also called as acceleration due to gravity. So we have to represent ay equal to minus g. ay equal to minus g. Okay. What is the reason? The rate of decreasing velocity. Last is gradually decreases, then it reaches to maximum height. Finally, we can consider that the final velocity of the body Vy equal to 0. Because of that reason, vertical acceleration is also called as acceleration due to gravity. For decreasing velocity, we can keep that sign is minus. Ay equal to minus g. Right? Next one, next y value you have to find out. Vertical displacement after t time at the observation point p. This y value we have to find out. y is equal to formula, general formula, s equal to ut plus half a t square. It is second equation of motion. Here now y equal to ut u y t. Okay, u y t plus 1 by 2 a y t square. Okay, ui value, ui means vertical component velocity. Right here, u sin theta into t plus 1 by 2, ay value minus g t square. But what is the t value? 
t equal to x by u cos theta. T value equal to x by u cos theta. So substitute here. Substitute y equal to u sin theta. T value how much? X by u cos theta. Minus 1 by 2 g into t square value. So here x by u cos theta whole square. So simplify here. So u sin theta, u value, u value get cancelled. And sin theta by cos theta, tan theta. Tan theta x minus 1 by 2 gx square divided by u square cos square theta. So this equation represents so parabolic path. So y is equal to mh is the same. Tan theta x minus 1 by 2 gx square divided by u square cos square theta. Okay, so now this equation represents second quadratic equation. Y is equal to ax minus bx square. So yes, sir. In the work, we will just in first one check. Okay. Okay. So now just up to here. So these are all are very important point in a oblique projectile motion. So the basic points are so motion under gravity in one dimensional direction. So here first one body projected in vertically of four direction, then it reaches to maximum height. What is the final velocity of the body means v equal to zero. Without initial projection velocity, body does not reaches to maximum height. Here initial velocity is very very important. The initial velocity required for this condition. Okay, so maximum height h max equal to u square by 2g, time of flight t equal to u by g. These all formulas we can derive with the help of equation of motions. Okay, so we can apply these formulas for projectile motions. Here body is a projected at an angle makes with respect to horizontal x-axis. Now just after here this projection velocity resolved into two components. One component is ux, another component is uy. So horizontal component of velocity is always constant because so gravitational force does not affect in that body along the x-axis direction. But vertical component affected by gravitational force. Due to that reason, its velocity gradually decreases. It reaches to maximum height of final velocity equal to zero. Just observe this point. And next, we can find out that horizontal displacement or vertical displacement at that observation point P on trajectory path. So we can follow this method along x axis, ux, ax, x. Okay, ux value equal to u cos theta. Acceleration means the rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity equal to d by dt of ux. But ux value constant means d by dt of constant value equal to 0. x is equal to ux into t. Okay, ux means horizontal component of velocity. ux equal to, so b, x equal to u cos theta into t. t value have to find out t equal to x by u cos theta. Here t represents time taken by the projectile to reach observation point t in trajectory path. Okay, so t equal to x by u cos theta. Same conditions you have to apply in vertical direction along y axis direction. u y is equal to u sin theta. u y equal to u sin theta, u y equal to minus it. What is the reason you have to keep that minus symbol means your body projected in a upward direction. In upward direction, velocity is gradually decreases. So decreasing velocity produces negative acceleration. So for the, that reason, we have to keep that sign is minus. A y equal to minus g. Y is equal to u y t plus half a y t square. So this formula is related to second equation of motion. S is equal to u t plus half a t square. Just to u place, you can substitute u y. A plus, you have to substitute a y. So y is equal to u y t plus a half a y t square. Then it is equal to u sin theta t plus a half into minus g t square. So it represents uh, one uh, trajectory path of um, our second quadratic equation. Okay, y is equal to tan theta x minus half g x square divided by u square cos square theta. So second quadratic equation already do you know y is equal to x minus b x square here range r is equal to a by b okay here height maximum height equal to a by 2b. 
So these points already we discussed in mathematics. Okay, we can discuss uh, in another class. And uh, remaining formulas, uh, as it is, you have to find out with the help of uh, horizontal equation of motion. So it is also very easy. Otherwise, the direct formulas you have to use uh, h max equal to u square divided by 2g. u place you have to substitute ui. Okay, ui square divided by 2g. ui means we can calculate that 